Hi guys, this lesson is on finding the electric field um, at a point in space due to a charged particle. So, let's say we have some positive charge here that has a charge of plus one uh, nanocoulombs. And we want to find the electric field at this point right here. And we'll say that this is at the origin, so it's zero, zero. And we'll say this is at 0.2 and negative 0.4, just to give them some numbers. And okay, so so if we want to find the electric field, we need to remember what the electric field formula is. So the formula is electric field equals one over four pi epsilon naught charge over the magnitude of distance squared times the directional vector. Now, the trickiest part is finding this directional vector. So, uh, why don't we do that first? So, r hat equals um, r uh, th th direction, or um, how far it is away in vector form over the distance, the magnitude of the distance. And what these uh, are equal to is the magnitude of the distance, this one right here, is basically as the crow flies. Like how far it uh, is away. So that's what that is. And the vector distance is how far is it on the x-axis and how far is it on the y-axis. And so the trick is that this top one is going to be a vector and this one's going to be a scalar. So, um, Let's find these first. Let's find, so since we know it's going to be a vector, we're going to add, need to know, in this we're only doing two dimensions, so we're going to need to know the x component and the y component. Now the x component, um, let's look. Remember to find uh, the components, it's final minus initial. So the final x component is 0.2 and the initial is 0. So, uh, so the x will be 0.2 minus zero, which will equal 0.2. Let's give these some units too. Let's say this is all, all in meters, by the way, just so we have, uh, we, can, we can work it out. And uh, our y direction, it's going to be our final minus initial again. So negative 4, negative 0.4 minus zero, negative 0.4 minus zero will equal negative 0.4. And then we have um, that gives us our uh, distance and vector. Now we have to find our magnitude of it. And magnitude, uh, we need to find for this, we need to find the hypotenuse. So basically, we're thinking of as triangle. We found the x distance, which is 0.2, and we found the y distance, which is negative 0.4. So now we just need to do um, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we can figure out the c squared. So uh, a squared plus b squared. That'll be 0.2 squared plus negative 0.4 squared. And we're going to want to find, uh, in order to find C, we're going to square root that. Because we have to square root this C to get rid of the squared. So we have to, and we, uh, we have to square root on both sides. So basically think of it as this. So put a square root over here, square root over here so they're equal. And then this square root and the square will cancel out. So it's just C equals that. So when we work that out, that'll end up being um, just about uh, square root of 0.2. So that's what our magnitude of distance will equal. So now we need to write it out in this form. So remember, this is a vector and this is a scalar. Let me write this equaling R. So we know our two components, we know. Have our component here, or, numer or our uh, numerator and our denominator. So, since we're uh, multiplying a vector and a scalar, the uh, answer is going to be a vector. The r hat is going to be a vector. So, our x component is going to be 0.2 over our r mag. So, our x component will be 0.2 over square root of 0.2. Our y component will be our y over the same thing. So negative 0.4 over square root of 0 
and that'll give us our, our hat. And uh, so now we have that first part done, and in my opinion, the most complicated part. Now that we have that, we can focus on these other uh, points. So let me get a fresh few paper real quick. Okay, so let me write down the equation real quick. E field equals 1 over 4 pi epsilon times charge square root of magnitude of distance times r hat. Okay. Now, we should know that uh, this right here is a constant and will always equal 9e9. E uh, I believe the units are newton meters squared over coulomb squared. So that's pretty simple. We know that part. Q, our charge, let's go back to our diagram so we can see. We gave this uh, unit a charge of 1 nanocoulombs. Now, because this is in coulombs, our constant in coulombs, we have to convert nanocoulombs to coulombs. So, um, 1 nanocoulomb, this is just simple conversion, equals 1 e to the negative 9th coulombs. So this is going to be 1 e to the negative 9th coulombs. Our top. Our distance, we are, our uh, magnitude of distance we already found right here, um, right here. So we just have to square this. So the square root of uh, square root, uh, I mean the square of uh, square root 0.2 is just going to be 0.2. So this will just be 0.2. And times are our hat. We already figured that out. Let me first just, uh, when you just uh, use algebra, sorry, this will be meter squared, just so we can have units here. Um, when you uh, multiply this all out, this will end up equaling 45 newtons per, or, um, newtons per coulomb um, times our hat. So, this is going to be 45 newtons per coulomb times, this will be a, again a scalar, times our vector, which is 0.2, in case you forgot what our hat was, 0.2 over square root of 0.2, for x direction, and negative 0.4 over square root of 0.2. Okay, now what that's going to equal is uh, once you just uh, do all your algebra again, that'll end up making... Um, 9 uh, over over square root of point 0.2 and uh, negative 18 over square root of point 0.2 and um, that will be our answer. An important thing to remember is that our hat doesn't have any units because when we look at it right here as our equation the units of this are meters, and the units of this are meters, so they will cancel out. Our hat is unitless, it's just our direction. So, uh, this, since this doesn't have any units, and this does, this will just end up equaling um, 9 square root, or I guess you can treat it. Uh, this will be our end product in our electric field. And if you look at it, let me bring back our diagram real quick. Um, our x direction will be positive. So, our x direction, let me bring in a different color. Our x direction, since it's positive, will be pointing this way. And our y direction is going to be negative and twice as long. So it's going to be this way. So our net electric field is going to be the triangle that makes those. So this will be our e net. So you have it in a couple forms here. You have it in this vector direction where it's just this one and this one. And or you could do a squared Pythagorean's theorem plus b squared equals c squared in order to figure out the net version, just this error, just this e field here. So you have it in two forms, um, and that's how you do a problem like this. So um, if you need any more help or uh, any questions on how to do this, please just send me a message and I'll uh, get back to you really quickly. And um, I hope you all understand, and I'll see you next lesson.